What is going on to YouTube? Lamont on the run. Today, we're going to Lowe's. Going to Lowe's because I got to get a couple things. But uh, while I'm here, got some things on my mind. We're going to talk about a very unfortunate occurrence that has happened on the tubes of you. Yes, everyone's favorite homeless, air quote, homeless YouTuber, all in with Ari has been exposed yeah guys she's been exposed and all in with Ari it seems like her real name is Ronnie Ann Spur and this person seems to be as shocked as everybody else oh, my condolences to everybody who thought that she was actually homeless now you had a bunch of uh, YouTube internet trolls that were doing their damnedest. They were doing their best to expose this girl. There is something about how she was living her life and what she was doing that people just, they didn't buy. Nobody really believed that she was homeless. I mean, on that side of the uh, aspect of things. And she looked too perfect. She looked too pretty. She looked, her hair was too good, right? She, she, just, she just didn't look like a type of person that would live in their vehicle because she's very cute. I mean, she probably has a rich boyfriend, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Something wasn't right. Now, me personally, I thought that maybe, I don't know, she got into a fight with one of her family members or her boyfriend. So she slept in her car outside the house or down the block. And then, you know, and then she's like, you know, normally she would just come running back to him. And then she just said, you know what? Screw you. I'm just going to stay out here. Right. And then she always like stayed right by the house, like maybe a block away. Maybe she lived in the neighborhood, whatever. Uh, no, no, I'm just ranting. So she makes this video. It goes viral. It has like, what, 1.7, 1.8 million views on YouTube, right? This uh, good looking gorgeous girl and then ever nobody you know a lot of people don't believe her they think she's a lying scammer blah 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 and come to find out well you know what i can't call i still can't call her a lying scammer because i'm not sure if she really is lying because technically if she's living in her car i mean you could stay for what two days three days is that considered living in your car like what's the length of time that you have to go sleeping in your vehicle to where then you're considered that you live in your car now, technically, a person that really lives in her car, if you're talking about her, not at all. I don't believe it whatsoever. But technically, she was sleeping in her car, so maybe she can get away with it. I don't know. So anyway, so she's been exposed. Uh, apparently, she has a, not apparently, well, it looks like facts. She has a, a little bit of a criminal record uh, based out of Arkansas. Uh, I didn't do a deep dive on her. I watched this guy's video. If you want a guy... Uh, who is very joyous and happy that she got uh, found out. Uh, I put the link to this guy's channel and his video. Go watch that. But basically, she has a couple theft arrests out of Faulkner County. That's Conway, Arkansas. And it looks like uh, he was going in on some uh, public whatever where maybe some people sued her. And then he went on her Facebook. I got disinterested and I left. Um, I got this interest not, not because that guy is boring it's just because well he was a little dry but also because I don't really care about this girl's uh, existence on YouTube um, what my, what I find fascinating about uh, this whole thing is that people actually uh, are interested in this girl's life when in reality it's like she's probably boring as hell and she had this whole, hey, you know, hey, guys, hey, water felons. You know what I mean? Just uh, this this kind of this cheery whatever. And, uh, you know, who am I to say? Is she really that kind of person? Is she really, you know, does she, is she really a vegan? Does she really love Jesus? Is she trying to turn her life around? I'm going to end the video. I'm going to say this. I'm going to defend this girl. For all of you in here right now that are saying that this girl is not going to, uh, that she, you know, her channel's over, she's finished, uh, she's destroyed, she's been found out, no one's gonna believe her, they, you know, the grift has been exposed, the scam has been exposed. 
Let me tell you something, trolls. The only, and I'm a troll too, so I mean, I'm a part of your pack. I'm probably the leader of the pack. But let me explain something to you. Not only have you not destroyed her channel, not only have you not stopped her, all you've done in exposing her is give her more and more content, right? That's all you've done. You made her more popular. Okay, so as I'm making this video, she's lost one Patreon. Who gives a crap? Let me tell you something. If she makes content at least three or four times a week, just sitting in her car talking, as long as she can start going outside of her vehicle, like showing the sights and sounds around uh, whatever city she's at. If she, Listen, if she were to listen to me, hey, baby, listen, if you're, if you're watching my video, uh, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Spur, listen, baby, if you're watching my video, if I were you, I would call me because I could school you on what to do now. If she listened to me right now, she'll have a quarter million subscribers on YouTube and she'll be making ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a month, no problem, if she listens to me. That's all she has to do is she just listen to me. If she doesn't call me, it's a good chance that her channel might fail, but you know what? It doesn't really matter because she's making so much money now. She's making more money than most of the people watching her channel. That's it. So for anybody that's thinking like, oh, we exposed her, oh, we got her, ha, ha, ha. You didn't get nothing because she could make a video saying, all right, guys, look, this is the deal. Yeah, you know, I was a scam artist. I was a thief. I had a drug problem. I have mental illness, whatever. She's a cute female and she can get away with that. She can get away with that. Easy to do. I mean, and we don't even know what she stole. I mean, did she come to Lowe's and steal a bunch of uh, tools or whatever? Uh, was, he a, was she a shoplifter? Was, was, we don't know. Like, We don't know the extent. I don't know if anybody's delved into any kind of court records. We're only seeing, all we're seeing is theft on a, on a record, right? All we're seeing is theft. We're not seeing much, so I don't know if she was shoplifting. I don't know if she was like writing bad checks, uh, doing all this and doing all that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she can come out with a couple videos. She can say, hey, listen, yeah, I got a problem. You know, um, I fell on hard times. I'm pretty, I'm cute, I'm gorgeous, whatever you want to call it. She can easily do that, and she will win the hearts of the subscribers back. Listen, guys, we're a very forgiving society. We're a very... Yeah, for instance, look at R. Kelly. Look what he did. Did you see that video that he did? And people still love him. What about Bill Cosby? People still still love him. Robert Downey Jr., uh, all these Hollywood celebrities that have gotten caught, that have gotten exposed, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? All they have to do is come and tell the truth. Say, hey, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I, you know, I, I have a criminal record. Yeah, I did this. Yeah, I did that. Is that her, is that her suit that she wears? Is that a suit that she wears? Let me ask you a question. How long is she going to be a thief for? How long is she going to be a thief? Like, are you a thief forever? Do you learn your lesson? Is, is she not worth uh, being redeemed? Is she unredeemable? I don't know. Um, I don't think this is a big deal at all. I think this is just a tiny speed bump in her, you know, in her, you know, roller coaster ride on the track of YouTube to to fame them and stardom. And if she listens to me, by the way, kid. Baby, give me a call, 972-765-8972, 972-765-8972, uh, all in with Ari, give me a call, I'll school you, uh, I, I will coach you, I will be your YouTube coach, I will be your uh, your preacher, I'll be your YouTube preacher, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get in your pants, well, unless you want me to, I mean, what, what the hell am I doing saying that I'm going to do that, come on kids, she's, she's, uh, she's kind of hot, I mean, come on now. At 31 years old, wow, I thought she was uh, 20, I thought she was like uh, 22, 23, looks very, very young. And, you know, obviously she's not a drug addict because she, she takes care of herself, so it ain't drugs that she was stealing with the thief. Maybe she likes to find her things in life. Maybe she has a an expensive habit with expensive purses, and the only way she can afford them is to steal them. Who knows? Listen, all I'm saying is this. Before I end the video, all I'm saying is this. Give the girl a chance. People make mistakes. Technically... Even if I said what is true about her just like, you know, being thrown out of her family's house and like she was just slept down the block. Technically, that is sleeping in your car. I just don't believe that she was really, really homeless. Come on now. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, I'll put the guy's video. You can like, you can watch uh, that little gossip dude just kind of go down the rabbit hole with her. And hey, listen. Hey, we all make mistakes. We've all had lies. We all have shadowy pasts. And, you know, all of the people that were watching her, 
that are saying like, oh, hey, oh, look at you, you're a thief. Well, what, what are you? So are you perfect? Have you never did anything in your life? Okay, we, we, we've all done things that, that we're not proud of. You know what I mean? And that's it. I want to thank Lowe's for hosting my podcast. <laughs> All right, guys, I got I, I got to go. Uh, I, I got to get out of here. Uh, by the way, let me know next time, guys. I I don't know if uh, I was thinking about doing one of these, but like flying a drone and then just kind of talking over it. I don't know. You tell me what uh, you tell me what if that's a good idea. I might try one very very soon. But uh, listen, uh, good luck to that girl. I have you know, hey, YouTube is a game meant to be played and you know all you guys again thinking that you exposed her that you brought her down you didn't do anything you didn't do nothing because guess who's gonna get half a million views on her next video oh well, maybe not half a million but three hundred thousand. that's all she gotta do kid come on get out of here catch up with y'all later have a good one peace out